I'm sorry, but this stops now. Pewter. What did you do to boss? Date. Run. Oh my god. Boss. Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to AI The Somnium Files! Holy shit, we are finally discovering the truth about what happened between, um, Renju, Monica, and Hitomi. And I think that she, like, you know, we, Date seems to think he's got it figured out, so we're gonna find out what we can. But like I said, I still think that, um,. Iris is actually Monica's daughter. With who? That I don't know. No idea. Okay, so we synced, and then we saw that. I think they dug her up, and I don't think they buried her, but I'm not positive. I know what happened 18 years ago. Let's find out. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains, and you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. Okay. I'll tell you the truth. Please, please do. Sagan Residence. The time isn't listed. 18 years ago. You're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. I... No offense, I don't believe you. You just... Seems like you just gave birth. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you, and especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to... deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. Oh my god. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit, I'll be right back. Oh my god, and she never came back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS tracker. It's a GPS transmitter, just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it, but okay, if it'll make you feel better. Oh my god. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened.
Oh my god. So someone else killed her. Maybe it seems like against So's wishes, like he didn't plan for it. Anyone else here, or is it just us? It's just us, it looks like. Oh god. Bout Monica's killer. Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima, the son of So and his late wife. Saito Sejima. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Oh my god, the same age as. The same age as, um. Come on, you could. Uh, like. Like, like that's that's the killer. Like, the, the psycho killer. Um, the, the Cyclops killer. I said psycho. My bad. Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. What did So say to Monica? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. What happened after Monica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. What else happened? Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home, but we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Who's the mob doctor? And they saw what happened. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast before long. We good here? Yeah, cover her. Just a minute. Rohan and his eye fascination. Beautiful. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Oh my god. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. 
And so she pretended to be her mother. We had to. No matter what. Oh my okay. god. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up. And took her to the cold storage warehouse. And that's why he paid to keep it. It's basically a memorial. And why did So go there? How did So know? This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Oh my god! Oh my god, I understand! Monica? Guys, I think I get it. In the other timeline. The person in the polar bear outfit. The one... Oh my god, I think that the person in the polar bear outfit, in the timeline that's locked anyway. I don't think Iris is dead in that timeline. Ota is dead for sure, sadly, but... I don't think that she's dead. I think that... I think the person in the polar bear outfit was actually... Um... Um, Hitomi, because we only saw the polar bear's, like, one of its arms move, not the other one. And I think that the body that was there, like, I think that she used Monica's body to fake her daughter's death to try and save her somehow. I don't know if that's the case, but I think I'm on to something here. Don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will... Never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Jesus. What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology and the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for eye. So both names have something to do with the eye. And I? Which means love will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah. I really like it. Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. You're not. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that, because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? Monica's killer? I don't really want to discuss this, but... There's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, 
his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? So then why was Shoko murdered? Shoko doesn't seem to have anything to do with it. Or did she and we just didn't know about it? I don't know. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her, Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep, and I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again, so I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed after doing this over and over. Before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows, but even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away, but my hands were full raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. I don't believe that. At all. Mama! Mama! Woof! Woof! Mama! Amwe! Amwe! Sweepy! Up! Little one. Mommy, I won race today! Is Mommy proud of me? Oh. Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. <sighs> Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it. My body dances on its own. Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! All the memories. Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Oh my god, and then to find out she's terminal? Mommy, look! Oh my god, it hurts! The little girl went through so much and she has no idea and then to find out she's terminal! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Both. Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy! Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law, and the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered, but that would mean... Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father, and even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris, but... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. Oh, the tumor. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. I get it. Nanomachines. Nanomachines could remove the tumor, but the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, 
It wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money, but I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan, a plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. And that's why we saw them together in the other timeline. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived, What happened? He walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. Uh. He whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it. And I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. It's very so, true. So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back, but then something unexpected happened. Yep, that's when we showed up. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me, and when you were done looking around, what started the whole thing. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. Couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iva did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her, just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Okay, this is literally a recap of everything we already know. Blackmail so Sejima for The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it. 
I heard I have a call for me and came too. Huh. Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? Because he was the Cyclops killer. I have no idea. Did you tell Renju about blackmailing so? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Continuing Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. That would make sense. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. Yeah. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Okay, well, let's summarize then. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. No, that's still bothering me. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. Huh. We can think about it later. More importantly... We don't know where Iris is. I headed for the exit. Wait. What? Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. Okay, what do you know? Oh, Monica's in here now. Okay. Huh. Iris's real mother. After graduating from school, she started seeing So Sejima and became pregnant with Iris. Just after giving birth, she went to meet So in the warehouse district and was never seen again. God, she dislikes killing. Okay, that makes sense. She was a ballroom dancer. That makes sense. There are two people unaccounted for in the thing. So there's two more people left to meet. Just uh, saving real quick. Do you know where Iris is? At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. God. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? It's the abandoned warehouse, isn't it? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Pewter. What did you do to boss? Date. Run. Oh my god. Boss! Pewter. Please, do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is, which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case has all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So, Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation as of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. <sighs> what will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, ow! Why would you leave the gun in there with him? Now tell me, where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? 
but if I don't go with you... All right, take me there. Oh, well, that makes that was God. I love how smart she is too. God, where are we going? I, I'm guessing we're going to the abandoned factory. I was right. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. <gasps> Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter? Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. Four hours at the most, after my ice is broken, Peter will be able to access watching my core program. He will be able to destroy my life. No! Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher ups clearly see you as a threat, Doctor. They are attempting to limit your power by removing you from the equation. I suppose their motivation partly matters here. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. What's I've only got four hours to save Best Girl and Iris. Nothing. Just. All right. Now you know. So get moving. I will not let you die, Best Girl. I'm counting on you, Doctor. I'm counting on me too. Four hours. It's fine. There should be plenty of time. I gripped my revolver and got moving. Peter always seems to have an antagonistic role. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Oh my god, it's Renju. That? I think he's dead in there. Yup! He's been probably been dead for a while. Renju? Number 89. <sighs> no fucking way. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? The other one better unlock now. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Yep, I figured that one was gonna get unlocked. Oh, boy. Like I said, I think I figured it out. I think that Sosajima is now in, like, boss's body. Fuck. Okay, so this is where we gotta go now. We don't got a lot of time left in this episode. So I guess we're just gonna get it started? I do feel like we're... Oh, Jinnai. Huh. I do feel like we're getting closer to the end, though. Like, like end game is definitely coming. Okay, so Sosajima. Guys, Sosajima. Uh, <sighs> and like I said, I'm I'm positive. Why? I'm positive that Boss stole his body. Why? And is in his body. Like, I'm, I'm almost positive that that's what's going on. What's going on here? Why did Boss kill So? Boss's alibi for Shoko's murder. 
Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was Boss doing at that time? Unknown. Oh, she doesn't have an alibi, does she? What about Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. Oh, right. Iris and Ota's murder. Iris and Ota were killed at different times. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. Oh, wow. I don't believe it. Boss? So the question is, if I'm right, how long was she in So's body? Well, I mean, like, okay, so I, I think I'm wrong then. Maybe, maybe in that instance... Maybe she was being blackmailed to kill those people by So, and then So switched bodies with her. I'm not sure. Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So. Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. So also had his left eye removed, identical to Shoko, Renju, and Iris. Date, I know where the boss is. I have picked up her GPS. Where? She is now at the Sagan residence, somewhere inside Hitomi's house. Ah, uh, this is a this is gonna be a bad ending here. What? See, I thought that maybe boss could be the killer, but like I <clears throat> something seems off with that at least. Okay. I drew my gun from his holster and barged into the house. It told me. It told me. I called for her, but there was no reply. I didn't see boss either. I'm a call boss's phone. On it. The sounds coming from inside the room. Where's it coming from? Cushion? Flower? No, that's not the right phone. Well, thanks. I know, I know. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. The boss's phone. Oh, shit. Yep. Kaname Date, you were under arrest for murder. What the hell? Drop your weapon. Comply. There's boss. Like I said, I'm not positive that's really her. Boss. Did you kill the five? Oh, actually, where's Hitomi first? I don't know. She was gone when I got here. Why did you come here? Why would I tell you? <sighs> did you kill the five victims? Are you kidding me? You're the new Cyclops killer. What? Why do you think that? You put a gun to So's head and pulled the trigger. I saw it with my own eye. Shut up! Shut up! Stop lying! Boss, what the fuck are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? That's ridiculous. What are you talking <laughs> about? Oh <laughs> my god! My entire body disappeared! Not the time, game! Not the time! That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Okay, that's better. Don't lie. Fight! This is going nowhere. Are you going to fight? I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Well then, what can I do? Well, let me think. Yep. 
Yeah, go Iba! You're not being erased in this timeline! Oh, there are some interesting things we can do. Date, what is that on the kitchen table? Could it be your favorite thing? What? The magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. Can't be. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. What's it doing here? But why was this seemingly set up for this? Gotta love it! What? Date, load Evolver with firebomb bullets. Shoot at the cloud. Why? Just do as I say, and fast. You got it, best girl! Have we seen this one yet? I'm not sure if we've seen this one yet. Oh god. <laughs> He's got it in his hand! Oh, that's gonna make a big explosion! Shit! That's right, flower is super flammable. That worked. Let's get the boss. Who right now I'm not sure is you know who she says she is. What? She is probably just unconscious. Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage. But a dust oh. explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> it is true. Anyway, let's have a look. Hey, this is just a cooking magazine. Of course it is. Police headquarters, 2.31 a.m. Boss is still unconscious. However, her brainwaves are stable. Sinking with her shouldn't be an issue. Oh, we're going to sink with Boss. I was right. We're going to... I wonder if we'll sink with... I wonder if we'll ever sink with Pewter. Something's still up, though. Where is 89? I had him put back behind bars. In Fuchu prison. That's right. I couldn't keep him here. How's boss? She has broken her right shoulder, as well as the fibula of her left leg. But her brain is perfectly healthy. You can sink with her. Okay. Why are you so cooperative? Because I know that the boss is my enemy. I got the video from Iba. Processed it and found that it showed no sign of tampering or editing, which means there can be no mistake. The boss shot and killed Sosejima after pulling out his left eye. That makes the odds of her being the culprit behind the other murders very high. Or maybe she had accomplices. Either way, she's a criminal. But why would she show her face? It doesn't make sense. That's why I am cooperating with you, Special Agent Date. I want it as bad as you do. The truth. I'm concerned because, Pewter, you have betrayed me several times in other timelines. Talk to her. Date, talking to her would be pointless. You do know that, don't you? I do. Oh, whoopsie, I didn't read that. Sorry. I decided to sync with her. Asking questions would just be wasting time. Besides, even if she was awake, I can't imagine she'd take kindly to an interrogation. Tomi still hasn't been found. I have a bad feeling about this. There's a good chance the boss knows where she is. How do I get that information? Getting into her head would definitely be the quickest way. That's why I brought her here. Okay. Sink machine. Um, can I start the sink now? Yep, sink with boss. 
Computer, are the preparations done? Ready any time. Let's get started. So in the timeline I was just in, Boss was not my enemy. But in this timeline, she is. Something's up here. Dante. I know. Six minute time limit. I'll be back before time's up. Well then, let's begin. Alrighty, we going into boss's brain this time. And like I said, I think we'll find out the truth and that she's not who she thinks she, well, she's not who we think she is. I knew it, it's the fucking warehouse. Why am I in a barrel? Why, why, I, I, but why? You're adorable, but but why? The camera angle is not helping you. Time to loosen up. Yes. Do you always have to come in like that? Yes. It is of the utmost importance. Except when Iris's life was on the line, then we didn't do that. At a time like this? Times like this are perfect. Anyway, it appears to be an abandoned factory of some kind. What could boss be hiding here? Somnium scan. Activate. While you're doing that, why? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the way she's jiggling her hips, but you know, still. And to lock one. And to lock two. Then to lock three. Then to lock four. Sinking in the refrain. Refrain. Open the door to boss's truth. Boss is hiding something. Reveal the truth of the new Cyclops serial killings. Unfortunately, um, I don't have time to do this in this episode. We're just about at time. Maybe it's, this episode will be a little bit short, but unfortunately we just don't have the time for it right now. I'm sorry about that. But we're definitely going to get into this next time. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Next time, we're going to get closer and closer to the truth. I'm pretty sure I am close to, like, the truth. And I don't know if this game is going to have a true ending or not. I'm hoping that it does. But I'm assuming that because they've always done true endings in all their other games, like, you know, like, you know, in Spike Chunsoft games and everything at least, that... They will do like a true ending route in this one. But I don't know. We're going to have to find out. But either way, thanks again. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers.